Well, here you are. QB1. Yeah. Potentially. I don't, you know, got to earn it. Absolutely. Uh, obviously. Yep. Uh, but welcome to Lexington, Devin. Um, what have the last two weeks been like uh, arriving here in central Kentucky? And just what's your experience so far? Yeah, it's been awesome. I mean, everyone's been very, you know, open and welcoming and getting around the guys, getting around some of the coaches. I mean, it's been incredible. Uh, actually, my first time being in Kentucky was when I took a visit here and you know, it was a lot different from what I originally thought. And, you know, honestly, I fell in love with it. Um, I love the city here. I love the people are very nice. And, you know, everywhere I go, you see everyone rocking UK gear. So it's really cool. What, what was the difference when you first got here? Like what maybe stood out to you that you weren't really expecting? So honestly, getting off the plane, you know, I expected, expected like a ton of farmland. Um, I expected, you know, a bunch of horses, which I did get to see, but I didn't realize how big the city of Lexington actually was and, you know, all the resources that they have here and, you know, just the University of Kentucky, the campus and how big it was and, you know, it really stood out to me. About the football program, what did you know about this culture and what they represent? Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, with what Coach Stoops has done ever since he's got here, I mean, really turned the program around, um, being able to compete in the SEC. And, you know, obviously with Will uh, this previous year, um, and really ever since he got here, how much success that he's had. And, you know, really just building a relationship with the coaches, Coach Woody uh, and then Coach Cohen coming in. I mean, it's been awesome just being able to see, you know, how they feel as if, my play can fit into you know certain systems and you know being able to play in the SEC is just going to be a huge you know honor itself. Was Liam Cohen one of the main reasons you decided to to come here? I know when you announced that you were coming here Liam wasn't officially yeah you know here back here yet but was that something that you knew was going to happen and that's why you wanted to make the leap here? Uh, well I didn't really know until it was obviously officially announced um, the biggest thing for me was really Coach Woody. Um, I've had a great relationship with him coming out of high school when he was previously at UMass. And you know, as soon as I entered the transfer portal, he was one of the first coaches that hit me up, um, hit up my family and, you know, talked to my high school head coach. And, you know, I could really feel the want from him. And, you know, him on top of that, the relationship that he, he's had in 2021 with Coach Cohen, I just know that that bond and, you know, they're, them telling me that they're gonna have my back, I know that I could fit right in here. I love that. And then, so and then if you build off of that, then you find out Liam is coming, you saw the success that he had here two years ago. That gets you a little bit more excited, just knowing the experiences that oh, yeah. he brings to this program. Yeah, I mean, it, it gets me thrilled, not only to, you know, be coached up by him, but just like to be even more developed uh, by him, just to, you know, obviously being able to learn from a coach, this coach at the LA Rams at the NFL level, and then the success that he's had with Will and being able to transform his game when he transferred in. And, you know, I just felt like, you know, I just needed to do what was best for me. And Coach Cohen knows that he could develop me to get to the next level. And I mean, I'm really excited to play in this offense and being around, you know, already do a bunch of really good talent that we have here already. What sort of things are you going to look to pick from Liam's brain while you know, during your year here with him? Yeah, I think first, you know, how can I be the best player for him? I think, you know, he's obviously watched a ton of film on me. Um, I have a pretty good idea of, you know, how he develops quarterbacks and, you know, the system that he runs. But, you know, his biggest thing is he plays to the strengths of his players. And, you know, I need to figure out how me and him can both collaborate and, you know, what he expects out of me and what I can bring to the table. And then I was kind of just meshing from that point. And you know, I mean, he's an awesome dude. He's a really relatable guy, a player's coach for sure. But I mean, when it comes to quarterback, I mean, it was really a no brainer for me. When you look at the offense that you have in place right now, you got Dane Key, Barry on Brown, you got Ray behind you who transferred over in the backfield. What do you like about the, the offense that's in place as of today and then heading forward? Yeah, I mean, first I think just Looking at the roster and the guys that we have coming back and even guys like Ray coming in is, first of all, we have a ton of playmakers, guys that all you need to do is just get the ball in your hand. And, you know, me kind of being like the point guard, so to say, and just distribute the ball and do my job. And then, you know, really secondly, I think how balanced we could be. I mean, obviously with all the receivers coming back, uh, we have that threat to be able to push the ball down the field. But I mean, with the O linemen that have returned in this year and a couple guys coming in and Ray and you know, how deep our backfield is going to be too. I mean, we're going to be very balanced in being able to attack in the run game as well as the pass game. Did you have a chance to sort of get advice from 
will any sort of connection relationship that you had with him not only now but while he was you know here yeah uh, so I actually this past summer I had the opportunity to go to the Manning Passing right. Academy and Will was actually one of my roommates oh, okay uh, so we stayed in dorms and he was my roommate and we were kind of just talking ball at the time you know obviously I was approaching my season at NC State and I was very focused there and you know who knew that I was going to end up where he was leaving from and it was really cool just to talk football at you know the present time that we were at and you know once I entered the transfer portal you know Will kind of texted me and was like dude if if coach Cohen is coming here there's no better quarterback coach in the world to get developed by and, you know as soon as I you know I trust Will I look at Will as a good friend and as soon as I heard that from him and saw the way that he was able to develop after transferring I mean it made total sense and now it's kind of in a sense you know, you got big shoes to fill now, you know, with what Will's been able to do here the last couple of years. Uh, do you embrace that challenge and, and that, you know, pressure, I guess, coming yeah. in as being the kind of the alpha dog of, of the football team being the quarterback? Yeah, I mean, I think everyone has their different journey. I think everyone has a different path. And, you know, you got to write your own story. I mean, Kentucky recruited me to come here for a reason and to lead and be the quarterback and obviously compete every single day with the rest of the guys in our room. But you know, at the end of the day, I need to bring what I do best to the table. Not really worried about who's done so in the past. It's kind of, you know, this is a new year, this is 2023 season, how are we gonna write it? And you know, if, if, if I'm gonna be the guy, you know, I need to do what takes best for this team. Going from playing ACC defenses to SEC defenses, do you look at it any differently? Do you, you know, you know, people say SEC is just means more, it's built different, that sort of thing. What's your reputation and what do you know about just the, the SEC conference as a whole and then having to go against those defenses pretty much every week? Yeah, I think in the SEC, you know, no matter who you're playing each and every week, you know, you got to bring your A game. Um, I think it's a lot more physical uh, from, you know, an offense, defense, a line standpoint. And, you know, it's more powerhouse, I think, yeah. compared to the ACC, you know, just playing in the ACC for, being a three-year starter, I think it's a lot more finesse, being able to go a little bit faster and put the ball on the perimeter. Where in this league, you know, you see the Alabamas, Georgias, you know, that you got to establish a run game. You need to win up front first. You know, that's something I'm excited to get a part of, excited to, you know, really learn more about, you know, different run concepts, blocking concepts, passing concepts, and then really just using my ability to put the ball in the perimeter and push the ball downfield. So I'm, I'm really excited to go against SEC defense. I want to talk about your time at NC State. So you had the uh, fantastic year 2021, what, 35 touchdowns, five interceptions. That year was kind of sandwiched by two years where you saw your season come to an end. 2020 was a fibula injury. This past season, pectoral injury after, you know, six games. Yes, sir. Are you hungry now? to prove that the 2021 you is the person that's gonna be playing here at Kentucky? I mean, I don't think I really need to prove it because I've already done it. I think that that's just me. I think, you know, unfortunately, you know, the past three years, two of them I had season ending injuries, but you know, in my mind and the type of player that I am, I'm a very confident player and I know the abilities that I can do on the field. Um, it's just more so being where my feet are at, you know, not looking too far in, into the future or well, dwelling on previous success. I think really just, you know, being in the moment, not really taking anything for granted and just really enjoying myself every day, just getting back to the love of the game. And, you know, obviously injuries suck, yeah. but I mean, when it comes to playing football, just like I did in 2021, I know that's the type of game that I could play. And, you know, if not better. I still think, you know, my best football is yet to come. And you know, I'm still a very confident player, just grinding rehab every day and just can't wait to get back out there with the guys. This is BBM Tonight. From your official UK station for Big Blue Nation.